Hi everybody, this video teaches all of you how to do videos, export them out of iMovie and ready for YouTube. Here is a video I've just done, which is awesome. Let's just check it out. There's me, acting all weird and mysterious. It's him today, Halloween head. What an amazing uh, guy. I'm how amazing is that? Anyway, once you've edited together your amazing, amazing, amazing video, or you've done your vlog, you know, you can add stuff in, you know, play about with clips, and flick about, add effects, whatever. So you end up with your movie that you want. So what I like to do is go to QuickTime, share, and go export with full quality. And click share. Uh, me being cool. So just pick your destination. Make sure to label it up properly. So then you can remember what's what and who's who's and where's where and you see that's exporting super quick and what it does is it makes a little quick time movie which sits on your desktop there which you're going to open up in a second in quick time but before you do that i'm going to explain why i just exported the full quality video to quick time because if you export using iMovie, what you end up happening, what ends up happening is you're essentially locked out of the system for the duration of exporting, whereas in QuickTime that doesn't happen. But anyway, we're going to go down to expert settings and I'm going to tell you at least what my preferences are. Me being cool, small. So what you can do here is you can go to like pick loads and loads of different formats, you know, 3G, Apple TV, AVI, you know, all these different things. I'll stick with QuickTime Movie. Options, go up to settings, you want H.264, uh, current frame rate, yeah. Keyframes, set it to 100, because that's okay. Right, over here, data rate and quality. These two things are connected, so they should really be next to each other. The better quality video you want, the higher the data rate is. Now you can let QuickTime choose what it wants to do by going medium, high or best, but generally it's sort of like, leaps and bounds. So what we're going to do, since this is going to be only a quarter VGA size video, we're just going to set this at 180. Uh, sound, yep. Yeah. Most unexported video, uh, most exported video comes in a linear PMC format and usually it's stereo and it's sort of like 4400 kilohertz. Now this is a really good format it's essentially lossless problem is it takes up lots of room it's about cg quality so what we're going to do is go down to apple's advanced codec or aac it's basically mp3 we're going to select mono and then 5200 for the rate um advanced set these settings very important uh render quality just click best um Encoding settings, target bit where we want to aim for 4800, which automatically selects, and size. One thing I forgot to mention in an earlier version of the video is um, the importance of size. If you're doing a video for um, YouTube, just ordinary 4x3 um, aspect ratio, 320 by 240, that's absolutely brilliant. Problem comes is when you're wanting to put a um, 
video which is filmed in widescreen onto YouTube. Now you can pick 320 by 240 but it will end up squashing the image. So what you could do is click preserve aspect ratio by giving it a letterbox or cropping it or fit to dimensions. We don't have to worry about that. Deinterlacing video, that's another thing, it takes a little bit longer but it also helps out with quality. It doesn't make everything look like a complete mess. So 320 by 240 quarter VGA uh, those are all the settings. Click OK and you've already selected your name, select your destination, save and this is the problem that I mentioned earlier. iMovie just doesn't let you export and play about with editing. Exact same thing in Final Cut Pro. So it's usually better to export using full quality and then encoding it in QuickTime Pro. Exact same setup and everything it's just a bit quicker so i'm just gonna here comes a jump here comes a jump cut because i can't be bothered to wait around for two minutes <laughs> 